Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have Lovesick Ellie Volume 7. So now the Volume 7 is getting more interesting because um, there's a lot of things happening. So we have the cover and here's the back. So Twitter, uh, Alf, um, Ellie um, and school hot for Omi has come to a long way. They're now officially dating. However, when Ellie's phone is confiscated, she finds a sudden new acquaintance in her detention partner, Kaname. He asks her to be her friend, but at first they hang um, their first hangout with Omi and Ellie gets into an argument with her jealous boyfriend. This awakens a newfound feeling in Kaname who tells her something she never thought she would hear. So she he said that he likes her and he wants to basically he wants to touch her, he wants to be with her, he wants this, he wants that. But because Omi's like, Okay, I'm now your boyfriend, I'm getting jealous because I don't feel like this is going to be nice and she he does kiss her and be like look i don't want to like kisses her in front of these people and just like look i don't want to hear anything about him okay you are mine and that is it okay you cannot put me up to anything i was like oh my god it's so cute like oh my god <laughs> tell me more please and um, so he does everything and then um she does a race she's like does this kind of Free, um, have a, a thought in her mind like oh my god if I can win for faster maybe I'll have um, and we be at the end and I'll be able to have a fancy thought so she had that and ran so she got I believe seventh place fifth place something like that and then he does it he tells Kaname that she's going to be waiting at the line he does goes into the jog um, into the race but not knowing that the uh, Kaname basically can't run that fast because he has a condition and he suddenly just fell to the floor and he was like oh crap now i've got to pick this guy dude up take him to the nurse's office because this guy collapsed um obviously erica got kind of like confused but at the time worried she was like oh my god what's happened she goes and finds out what's happening tells um she thought it was him but it wasn't it was kind of who's in the uh, nurse's office um and it's just the whole thing of trying to make sure that everything stays still but then he kind of then goes I actually like you, Omi, and I'm like, hang on a minute, what? So that confuses me a little bit, like, he ha I think he has something for both of them, but I just, I don't know what his real game plan is. It's so confusing, but I'm just like, girl, you better help me up and tell me what's the hell's going on. So, like, it goes through, like, like these, him going, then she didn't tell her best friend about, um, about her and uh, Omi so she gets upset that she didn't tell him and then it just goes through all that like they do like these sweet moments and everything like that so this was like a really really not cute little volume and volume 8 is next okay this is Lovesick Ellie volume 8 so you start to see this cute little so a lot happens from 8 till 10 and it's unbelievable so this is Ellie and Omi are alone at last in his room they are in real life, officially as couples, and only every move leaves Ellie breathless and aching for more. But her titular, 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 oh my god, Twitter more post shows it. But the walls goes up in the moment of intimacy, and each will like to reveal vulnerability. They also have one from multiple obstacles to their relationship. Ellie's protective and warm meaning dad. Can Ellie convince her dad that she's all grown up and that only love is the real deal? So they go back to his room and she was like, he was like, um, just get yourself ready, just get you, just sit on the bed. And she thought, get undressed and get into his bed. And he was like, look, we're not ready for this yet, like kind of thing. And like, they were, they looked like they were going to do it. And then he just rolls her up and he's like, look, this is not, we shouldn't do this. We just take it slow. She's like, sorry, I just kind of like got over the point where you like, you could overturn yourself. And then from that, um, her dad basically sees her outside, like, hmm, who's this guy? Ellie, no, I don't think so. You are not going to be with this guy. Absolutely not. Like, mm mm. Crossover, hell no. I was like, oh no, poor Ellie. So her phone gets confiscated from her dad, and she's not able to talk to him. Um, and then she was like, it got to a point where she was like, her dad was like, you're not getting good grades, you're in this, you're growing grades because of this guy, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, no, it's not, it's nothing to do with that. I love this guy really much, I really do love him. And I'll show you that my love for him doesn't doesn't even, like, through her test. So she gets all good grades um, in, her, her, uh, um, in her classes <clears throat> and shows her dad that look. He's a good guy, and then obviously he stayed in the house. Um, he 
because her own his own daughter was like, look, Dad, I'm grown up enough. I can do what I want. Nothing's going to turn me down. And he is a great guy. He's amazing. And, and I love him pretty dearly. It's so obviously, he's in the house. And then he ends up staying the night. And obviously, like, she was like, nope, absolutely not. Great grades. They... <laughs> So yeah, um, they haven't seen each other in a way, so they get surprised by their touch. And she's like, I can't forget this, she's so upset, they get upset. And then she's like, oh my god. And then meets the dad. Then things get traced. But you see that in volume 9. See you next. <laughs>